today we're standing in the Give Flight program. This year we're building five complete sets of wings. When these are finished, they're going to be given to chapters literally located all over North America. We are giving people who just happen to come by the opportunity to actually build these wings. So there's two stations right in front of the tent where we'll give them instruction on how to pull a rivet, make sure that they're checked out, and go over to our one of the wings, whichever one is being riveted at the time, and there someone will help them line it up, put the rivet in, pull the rivet, and get their picture taken. Lovely, perfect job. Well, I want to come to this booth because it looked really fun. Putting a rivet into a plane is really cool because you're just part of the plane, in a way. You are given a magic marker and you can sign your name there and that'll be on there for the life of the airplane. The fact that I got to sign my name on the wing means I'm always going to be part of that plane. Spot's a pilot, my dad's a pilot, and maybe someday I can build my own plane and become a pilot. As always, EAA is working toward making flying more affordable. We're encouraging our chapters to form parallel flying clubs here. They have the opportunity to finish building the aircraft and then members of the chapters can own it and we hope fly much more inexpensively. We're shooting for a target date of 2017. We're encouraging the chapters to finish them by then and at that time we're going to ask them to fly them back here to Oshkosh and we'll have a, a big reunion of all the aircraft that started late here at Oshkosh. Sonics, Vans, and Zenith have all donated the aircraft as well as donating a significant amount of staff time to oversee the, the building of it. That Aircraft Spruce is also a sponsor and I'd certainly like to thank them. They support EAA in so many ways. It's pretty good. So when you build your airplane, you only have to do it 10,000 times. <laughs> all too often, people look at building an aircraft and say, oh gee, I could never do that. Well, let me tell you, with the modern kits that we have today, you can do it.